here. It comes this time straight for the jugular, straight for the old windpipe. Not even there, just pushing it. Another good one. This one's yours. <coughs> in the rib cage and stand. Point on the handball. And that's in and then down. So you rake it, you point the handball down. So it'll be fun. Yeah. Okay, no, no, just so. Yeah. You're raking it down. So you're attacking the different vulnerable layers of the body. This time. In goes the handle. Down it comes here. Um, inside the body. Twisting the body around now. And then we're up in different positions. Doing one thing with one hand and something with the other. Something different there. You might want to come and grab me with that hand, but he doesn't see the handle. Block, so he's coming from the front, you take it out almost easily. Yeah. Different types of block with the handle. So you're actually coming down in the arm there. Let's just displace ourselves again. So the punch comes. Sorts of grabs, strangles, not to mistake. So I'm now using the handle, the strangle, the front of the jugular. And I'll finish them off. There we go. So the punch comes, strike. And you strike and then you step forward here, striking across the neck. And that's the scissoring type of motion, you're collecting the arm, the shoulder and the head all together, giving it that. Okay, so you cross tricep above the elbow and you're pushing the handle across his body at the same time, pushing his hand in the opposite direction and pulling down. Yeah, yeah. like that. Okay, so it's that sort of motion. <coughs> Keeping the arm exposed upright here. Cross the body, push up and push down at the same time. So it's a simultaneous cross, push down and up. Okay. Right. So that'll take your mind out. And there's that scissor motion here. And you can hold it with one hand. Take it all back. Control. Then you want to take it out. You remember any other ones? Nick? One? Oh, take a forward cut, just show me your cut. Yeah. Now he's going to come forward and take the strike at my head and the lower part of my body there. All right? So, pretend you swing into the head position, all right? Nice and slow time. There's it. Okay, you're going to move forward. You must get yourself inside the arc of the hand muscle, inside this position here, inside that distance, which is a dangerous position. It's been the most dangerous. So ideally you want yourself in here with the handle behind you. Okay. So that's what happens. You know he's going to step back. Yeah, he's going to come in and swing the handle at you. So step inside the arc of the, of the swing and trap both arms using the arm here and trap in here and push the arms together. At the same time you push down and push up at the elbow joints. So you're going to have control of this handle. Right. So you imagine forward doing a hard swing, not just step further back, further back. And imagine I'm standing there and do a hard swing, the sort of momentum he has in the swing. You don't know, do it for real, not me. Just do a hard swing. Right. Give me control. I have control. I'm going to plant some of his head. 
I'm going to do that. A lot of momentum in that. Not oh, just in the other body. A lot of momentum in the strength. So you imagine, it's all time. You stop all that momentum as you step forward. Right? So his elbows will lock anyway. He's going to lose it. Because I stop this elbow here in the joint. But you must get yourself into that. Think of car fire arches as the attack comes. Here. And inside and go with it. So you end up taking them around. In the way. See? So that's trapping both arms. Alternately taking away the arms given the power of the attack. So you've got a shadow here. Come inside now and take an arm lock here. So you're snapping that arm. Take control of the handle. <coughs> Give him something else to think about. Yeah. Alright. If he's right handed, then his right hand provides the power and the left hand because that provides direction if you like. This is giving me all the power and swing. The left hand controls the point of the handle and targets it. So you take away the guiding hand if you like, and there's no direction then. So that's what you're trying to achieve here. So you're going straight forward. That left hand, you must get yourself inside the arc of that swing. <coughs> Taking the arm out there. Down. Basically the same, getting inside the arc of that swing, and that's where your technique will differ from there. Take him away. Right. Put the hand grabs from the handle. Paul grabs me. Here, handle will come up across the body and pull down, pull down towards me. Yeah. Control. You let me go with this hand. Handle will swing around and take him out the back of the head. Again. Likewise, you can use a point of it, push him away and push it through. In between the legs, you take the balance up. Stamping the toes, here, yeah. coming across the body, pulling away here. So it comes up. Here. So with that, I mean the bones in the back of the hand is quite painful there. Yeah. And I give the levers now with this other hand. So it's bone to bone to handle. Using the tip of the handle and the thumb to pinch fleshy parts, nice fleshy parts, muscular parts. So he's got a hard bit of handle and the thumb pinching one together. Likewise, the nipple there. So I've got a good thumb and forefinger of nipple. Inside his arm here. And pull that towards it. Okay? We can use it in all those sorts of ways. Likewise, striking the joints and knees. Swing it up. Down. Oh, that's close quad type stuff. Pushing the handle down to the collar one and against the grab there. Here. Yeah. So the handle comes up 